The Kenyatta family has dominated the milk industry for more than two decades and they've done so through their parent company, Brookside. On the other side, the Odinga family has dominated the gas industry since 1971. Rail Odinga's East African Spectre is the only company manufacturing liquid petroleum gas cylinders in Kenya. He literally has no competition and that's why he's filthy rich. Now the two families have dominated those two industries for quite some time because it's been monopolistic. It's just them and them alone. Who else is dominating the milk industry? Nobody. Gas industry? Nobody. And what President William Ruto and DP Rigadi Gashagwa are doing is that they are opening those markets to other players who have the money but they have not been getting that opportunity to join the market to finally join the market and also become players in those industries. And the Kenyatta's and Odinga's are not happy about this. So they paid a journalist at Nation Media to write a very scathing headline today branding the president as somebody who is vengeful and going after the two families. Let me just read you the headline of the Nation newspaper this very morning. So the heading reads, Ruto now goes for Raila and Uhuru business empires. Then in the subtext they've written, to the ruling party, recent shifts targeting the dairy and gas cylinder sectors are meant to ensure efficiency open up the market and lower the cost of living. But to the opposition, they are the beginning of an economic sabotage plot and political witch hunt aimed at hitting their leaders where it hurts most. And at the bottom you can see an image of Ruto laughing and uh, <laughs> Uru Kenyatta is not amused by it, neither is Raila Odinga. Raila Odinga is actually in shock in this image. Now without further ado, here's the DP's remarks to that particular article from the Nation uh, newspaper. Yeah, Imeona headline kubwa ya nation. Ati sisi tunataka kuharibu biashara ya familia mbili. Sisi tunasema mtugi ya gas wamekuwa kitusia baikali. Gas wamekuwa kitusia baikali because of monopoly. Tumesema tulete watu tano ine washindane bei ya mtugi ya gas tremuke na gas tremuke. And that is what will happen. You can sponsor headlines, lakini bei ya gas na mutungi itateremuka. We shall open up that space to many competitors because it was a monopoly by one person. Anatuzia mutungi ya gas na gas vile anataka. Mambo ya mazi watu mesema, there has been a monopoly by one person. Amenunua kampuni zote, anatuzia mazi wa, anatunulia vile anataka, anatuzia vile anataka. We are opening up that sector for competition. Dio mkulima aongezewe bei na mkunyo maziwa itaremuke. Na itakuwa na mnaio. Na dio wa jamaa watu hakutaka tukue tufike kwa uongozi. They knew why there was a project called Azimio. Why that fellow was being chaperoned. It is because they wanted to continue with state capture and monopoly to continue exploiting the people of Kenya. But we are saying that has come to an end. We are going to open up the milk industry. We are going to open up the gas business so that the people of Kenya can benefit. Now what exactly are the ramifications of William Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa allegedly sabotaging Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga? If at all that is what they are doing, because for me I don't believe that's what is happening. But even if that is what was happening, let's give the Nation newspaper a benefit of a doubt that this journalist is right on the money. If Ruto and Rigadi are trying to dilute those various industries, it works for the common monainchi. How so? I'll give you the example of Safaricom. At one point, Safaricom was a monopoly. They would price things as they want. But in came Airtel, in came you, which actually died after some period of time. But the new players entering the market forced Safaricom to have competitive prices. Because if your competitors go low, everybody shifts to the other side. The only way you keep your clients is you match them or you go lower. As we speak, milk is very expensive. Brookside has no competitors. They can wake up and say it's 300 shillings. We'll do nothing about it. Rail Odinga's gas cylinders are being sold very expensive. It's one of the reasons why gas is expensive in this country. So by Rigadi Gashagwa and Ruto allowing new players into the market, like I've seen uh, they allowed a Tanzanian billionaire to set up shop in Mombasa, to finally challenge Rail Odinga's company. So that in order to stay afloat, Rail Odinga's company will have to come down to meet their competitors or go even lower to build rapport with the buyers in the market and to stay alive and relevant. 
Now here's what Kenyans on Twitter had to say about this whole debacle. Wilson Abuga said, I've been telling Ruto that the easiest route to clip Raila's wings is to audit East Africa Spectre gas if he has been paying tax. If not, freeze his accounts. Here's the second option. Thanks Ruto, welcome to Kenya Rosta Maziz. When he says the sec second option, he has attached an image which basically says government gives Tanzanian billionaire Rosta Maziz approval to set up cooking gas plant and storage facility at Mombasa. Senator Cherege said if Raila Odinga wants to stand with Kenyans, he should lower the prices of gas fast before going for protests. We will be grateful and we will give him enough police officers even it is for one month. Dominic Chiaria said the president is doing all he can to lower food prices with his power, but the fake nation media is writing that the president goes for Raila and Uru business empires. How does lowering the tax imposed on gas and gas cylinders get seen as going for other people's businesses? Arapagui Kipchirchi said Raila is pretending to be fighting for common mwanainchi now, but during Uhuru era when one liter of cooking oil was for 50, unga was to 30, gas 6 kg was 1500 and corruption was rampant, he never spoke because he was among the beneficiaries. President Ruto should never allow handshake with Raila. Well, that's it from the folks on Twitter. I'd also like to hear what you have to say about this. So please drop me your own comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. Now, in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube. Search for David Wafula. Hit the subscribe button and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Alright guys, adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.